Hello, uh, welcome to uh, episode 5, Let's Make, Learn, Teach and Play. Uh, today we are going to be uh, carrying on with our learning of the Unity engine. Unreal 5's just come out, um, kind of made it make me want to have a, a little go of it, but um, yeah, I, I'm just going to carry on with this one because it's probably a little bit more forgiving for the moment, uh, a lot more developed. Um, so today we're going to be carrying on with our uh, course, uh, which is under Unity Learn. Um, and what we've been doing is sort of just carrying on with our, uh, I think we're on Junior Programmer. Uh oh, <laughs> I've forgotten a little bit, but that's okay. Um, so today I want to finish up with this little course and then uh, means that we've, we've gone through all of the fundamentals of uh, the Unity engine, uh, ready for the next phase, which is to actually start making the game. Uh, we're going to be going through all the concepts, we're going to be going through sort of what we require, um, we will be going through sort of uh, talking to, um, there will be a 3D developer as, uh, and an audio uh, developer as well, um, helping us out. I can't remember to get to where we need to be. So let's log in here. Uh, let's just take a second and then resume the pathway. Uh, if it lets me. Yep, there we go. Uh, oh, hang on. Let me just make sure that HDR is off again. Yep, it's off. So uh, that means it won't be bright on the uh, on the stream. Um, I hope you're all doing okay. It's it's Tuesday. I'm st still trying to get these sort of streams out uh, out there, um, so I can uh, see where we go. We're on episode. Oh, we're actually on episode six. I've called it five, but we're on six today. Oh no, I did call it six. It's okay. Uh, so, uh, as you know, we're making um, a video game uh, called The Veil, and uh, it's about this guy so um, essentially it, it, my friend Adam he's, he's been making this he, uh, for a couple of years now in this I just think it's, it's brilliant it's so, so creative um, support him on patreon uh, and the Instagrams and subscribe to the channel I guess subs subscribe to our channel as well if, if you want I've only got three at the moment um, and the idea is that we're learning to make the game all the way through to uh, developing the game Um, I could hear something there for a second, but I think it's just the music. Um, I hope the music's at a good level. Um, I'm trying to, what I found is that, oh, where are we? Driver's seat, challenge one. Oh. Okay, well, we've gone through it all. We're on challenge one. I thought I could hear a mouse clicking, but I think it's just the music. So, uh, we'll ignore that for a minute. Uh, okay, so... Some materials that we'll require. We're going to go through each of these again, uh, essentially by going through some of the courses that we've done in the past. Um, uh, how does it work? Uh, it is supposed to have bugs. Okay, so really going to be testing our metal here. Um, it, it's taken me a couple of weeks to, just to even get to this point, so I'm going to have to try and. It's been three three months now. Time really does just fly by when you're having fun. Uh, so I, I don't know how, uh, how good I'm going to be doing with my memories. So we might have to go back into some of the other courses, but we'll see how we get on. Uh, so using the skills that you've learned in the driving simulation to, to fly a plane around obstacles in the sky, you'll have to get uh, the user's input from the up and down arrows in order to control the plane's pitch up and down. You will also have to make the camera follow alongside the plane so you can keep it in view. Uh, the plane moves forward at a constant rate, the up and down arrows tilt the nose of the plane up and down, and the camera follows along the side of the plane as it flies. Uh, cool. Uh, so, yeah, let's, let's just give this a go. We've got the videos, don't forget that we, um, what was it? They say you watch, then do, I think it is. So, uh, yeah. Oh, um, 
I tried streaming Call of Duty Warzone as well, so it's it's it's, it's difficult to watch because my voice is uh, the microphone volume is low. Um, uh, one day I'll work out why. I guess it's just because I'm using a headset, uh, perhaps. Uh, so uh, let's begin. Let's have a look. Welcome to your very first challenge. In these challenges, you'll be given a new project, but it will be filled with bugs that you'll have to fix and missing features that you'll have to implement. The goal here is to take the skills you learn in the unit and put them to the test in a different environment. For example, in the first unit, you learn to program a car that could drive down a road. In this challenge though, you're not going to program a car, you'll program a plane. And this plane is going to come with all kinds of issues. It flies backwards instead of forwards. You can't steer it. And it goes like a million miles an hour just in circles. It's basically a nightmare and you are in charge of fixing it. Don't worry though, if you think about it, the programming required to steer a plane is not too different from the programming you did to steer that car. You know how to make objects move forward you know how to rotate them based on user input. That's pretty much all you'll need to know to program this plane. Plus, you can always reference the code from your prototype. And we've also provided you with some helpful hints if you get stuck. In addition to the main challenges, you'll also have the option of completing bonus challenges. These bonus challenges require you to go just a bit above and beyond what you learned in the unit and apply your skills in completely new ways. You may even have to do a bit of online research to figure these out. So if you do complete a bonus challenge, you should give yourself a pat on the back. Now, during these challenges, you may be tempted to throw up your hands and quit. They're not easy, but my advice, don't give up. If you take the time to troubleshoot the issues and work through these challenges, your unity and programming skills will be at a new level when you get to the other side. So to make all that happen, I'll see you in unity. I did that thing again where I forgot to unmute the mic. So, um, what I want to do, just sort of go over a little bit of this. Um, it's it's going to be interesting. We're going to reference what we have here. Now, first the plane moves forward at a constant rate. Now, we're going to be using delta time for that, which uses time instead of uh, frames per second to, to make it sure that it's nice and smooth. Um, then we've got then the up and down, which is going to be the similar to what we have with the left and right. Um, but we're going to use it up and down for the nose of the plane um, and, then, and then the camera. So if we just go back here, looking at what we have previously, uh, we've got hollow player uh, and in here uh, is our public and private. I, I can't even remember half of this stuff, but, but there we go. Uh, transform up to top position, player top transform to top position, late update. Eh. Cool. Um, oh yeah, 
yeah, so we have that and then we apply that to this object here. Let's go back into it. The game object is called player, cam player we've got. So it's following the actual camera player, which we've attached to that. And that's the offset, so where the camera is positioned. So it's not actually in the code that we are declaring how the camera or what it's attached to, but um, just by declaring it on the front end here. And then we've got the player script as well. Let's take a look at that. Cool, so there's our speed, and that's using that delta time part here. Uh, the forwards, I mean, we're gonna have to try and figure out how to get that to go up and down. Um, horizontal input and vertical input as well for when we go in forwards, back, left and right. Um, cool. Yeah, this is gonna be quite difficult actually. Probably gonna fail at this, but let's just see what happens. Uh, it's not that bit that I need, it's this bit. So open your prototype one project. one. All oh right, so we, we're going to use the same, same project, fair enough. Uh, let's import file. Uh, where do we import assets? Import package, custom package. It's not that one. It's this one. This is some of the follow players. Cool. Where am I going to put this then? Should have selected the top level there. Nope. Here we go. So scripts, follow player. Let's have a look at it. Uh, there's the offset, which needs to be changed. Cool. And then the player controller. See what they've got speed vertical input I've got that in already get access vertical now that stuff is coming from properties uh, no, no 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 edit preferences no well, that's instantly we need to think about where input manager so it's under project settings so this is the input manager um, it's referencing the vertical this time, so uh, W and S is up and down. And we can use the PlayStation controller as well, uh, which I got plugged in at the moment. Um, cool, okay, so it wants us to... Are we going to just be creating the whole thing then as we go along? Challenge overview of Vista Video. Let's watch the video to see what it, what it wants us to do first off. Um, yeah, I guess that's a good place to start. Go. Welcome to challenge one. Now, if you remember in our first project that we made, we added a lot of functionality to our project with this vehicle that can drive forward and these boxes that have physics and collisions in it. And we can fully control this vehicle, turning it left and right, driving it forwards, driving it backwards. So for our first challenge, you can see that we have this plane flying game. And if I use the arrow keys, I can control it going up and down. Our plane is flying forwards at a nice consistent speed. We have our camera over on this nice side view so we can see our plane flying around and we can fly through all these obstacles and we're following the plane really nicely. So this is what our challenge should look like by the end. And this is what our project looks like now. Oh my gosh, the plane just flew straight backwards. It's like, it just keeps going incredibly fast. That's far too fast for us to be able to do anything. Oh my gosh, just flying straight up all the way directly into the air. Well, that's not good. Can I even control this? No, that's really frustrating. For some reason, our camera also has this weird front view 
and it doesn't even look like we're following the plane at all. I don't even know where the plane is. It's just, it's gone. Um, that's frustrating. Okay. Now, on our challenge page, below the video, you can see that there's all of these different steps that we can go through to make our project complete. You can see here listed the entire step that you have to do. So the problem is the plane is going backwards. What we need to do is make the plane go forwards. And if you get stuck, there are these helpful hints at the bottom of each step to help provide you with a little bit of insight as to how you can fix the problem in case you get stuck. Our next step, the plane is going too fast, so we need to slow it down. The camera is in front of the plane, so we need to reposition it. Our camera is also not following the plane at all, which isn't very helpful. And our plane is tilting automatically. So in order to get our project to a complete state, we need to make sure that we go through each of these different steps. And something helpful that you can do as you complete each one, for example, if you finish watching this video, you can mark the step as completed. And then if you fix the plane going backwards, you can mark it as complete. If you found you actually broke something, you can mark it as incomplete so you can keep track of your progress. In addition to our main problems with our project, we've also added in bonus challenge problems that you can try and solve to see what you understand about Unity and push your knowledge just a little bit further. So in our completed project, you can see if I press play and then I'll just pause this game really quick. And then actually, if I go focus in on the player, let's get it to the side. I'm going to step through and if you watch the propeller, you'll see that the propeller actually rotates as the game is playing. So that's a cool, fun little feature that you can try and do yourself. The bonus challenges are designed to be a bit more difficult than what you know and understand. There are hints that help you along the way in case you want to give it a try and see what you can do. In addition, if you do get stuck, feel free to use the internet. There are so many different resources that you can use just looking it up on Google. So for example, if I want to figure out how I can make an object rotate in Unity, there's a little tutorial that you could do for spinning a cube that's very similar. Somebody asked a question on Stack Overflow about rotating an object that might have some good advice on how you should approach it. This is kind of an interesting one. How do I rotate an object around its center in a script? Very similar to what you're trying to do. In addition, these challenges are also a great opportunity to take a look at the documentation. So here is actually the documentation about how transform.rotate works. That goes in depth about all of the different ways that you can use the rotate tool and the rotate method. It even has some examples that you can take a look at. So if you want to see different ways that you can rotate something, it's a good place to go. And you can also see all the other different options. For example, vector three of all the different vector threes that you could potentially use. So that way you can start digging a little bit more into all the different ways that you can use all the different methods and the different classes in Unity to be able to create your projects. In our starter project, you can see that when I press play, and hopefully if I can pause really fast, all right, I hope our player, they're out in the distance, so I'm just going to focus in. So you can see if I step through, hopefully the plane stays in view. The propeller is never actually moving. So that's a problem. Now, if you do get stuck inside of your challenge folder, there's a set of instructions that you can use. And inside of the instructions, if we click on the challenge one outcome, and in fact, in our inspector, you can see this little gray bar down here. And if we actually just drag this up by clicking on that gray bar, you can see there's actually this little video. And if you press the play button, you can see exactly how we were trying to make our plane and our game work before. Now, a lot of the things we were trying to do before are very similar to how we set up our initial project that we made, our prototype one. So if you ever get confused or get lost, 
you can feel free to reference your prototype, take a look at your scripts, see the different things that we set up in our scripts to understand what's going wrong inside of our challenges. Another really helpful thing in our challenges is in the scripts folder. All of the scripts actually have an X at the end of the name. So that way you know that this is our challenge script versus the names of the scripts that we had before. To get started, download the challenge assets using the link below the video. It will prompt you to download your challenge file. And then if you want to add that asset package to your project, you can go to the top left of Unity, click the Assets button, Import Package, Custom Package, which will then bring up your File Explorer, and then just go to the folder where you have that package saved, click on it, click Open, click on the Import button when it gives you the prompt on the window, and it will download that package to your project. So, get started on your first challenge, and good luck! Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I, I guess that's just, this is what it's all about. This is what the channel's for. We are, um, it's, a good it's a good indication of what's to come. Um, we we're having to develop something together, um, bug fix it together, um, see what we've got. Now, the first thing I've noticed is that there's a new scene. So can we create a new scene? So we've got a blank. Uh, a blank scene so if I click on that yes we do so um, the next step is to see how we can get we're going to try and create the world first so we've got the challenge materials we need to know where the um, uh, the background is the sky the sky dome now That's a good start. Uh, let's get the mountains in as well. Ooh, hello. Okay, so we've got something going on there. Uh, let's just drag this up somewhere relatively. No, I guess let's just go. We'll just go a bit higher because it is a dome. Uh, ooh, no, no, yep. I don't know. Uh, that, that'll do. It's meant to be snow. I thought it was clipping. Um, cool. Okay, so we've got that. Let's add a, uh, a light in, so let's just let's try and just for a second, see how this goes. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, where is the center point now? So let's get a light in this scene. Um, create, uh, no, we want a light. Now we could have directional light, point light, spotlight, light, uh, spotlight uh, area light. Let's just go for area light. Cool. No. No, no, no. Maybe a directional light. Oh, hello. Now we've already got one. Cool. And that must be our center point as well. So let's just head back down here. Okay, cool. So we're back to create a new scene. So I'm just going to save that for a second. Uh, next, we're going to have to add in some of the assets. And uh, it's got some sort of obstacle course going on. So next set uh, next thing that we need to do is find our plane let's add him in that's huge I was not expecting that okay and let's uh, rotate it so I think that's E uh, I actually want it says that that's the Z axis so let's spin it around so that oh no wait a minute yeah um, if I was to say X is the side, Y is up, so actually, if I drop it back in, will it go the right way around? Yes, it will. Look at that. So it's the right way around already. Excellent. Uh, so select the asset, W. Let's just drop him down there, just so we know where he is. Zero, zero, and a zero. And let's drop this thing up here, ever so slightly. Uh, try and find a decent... Ah, so that thing there was on the side, wasn't it? So let's next drop this, uh, move this over. So we've lost it. Uh, the scaling's a little bit funny on this one. So, cool. Uh, spin him round. Sort of. Uh, 
so ni minus 90. Excellent. Okay, so this is on the next thing to have a look at. I hope you can see all this because it's quite a big sheet. Let's try and make it a bit bigger. That's as long as I can make it. That's cool. Okay, let's carry on with that. So because we're using the absolutes and the x, y, and z, let's just make sure this is in a good position. Cool. Okay, so let's play. Absolutely nothing happens, but you can see down the bottom what it would look like. So I'm just a bit offset there. And then tidy this up. So we've got the x is a 30, the y we'll put a 6. 7 and the Z has a 0 so we're perfectly perpendicular uh, with a plane excellent right so let's make sure that that doesn't move that needs to be attached to that so let's do that now so uh, okay so the small plane propeller we'll come back to the propeller we just want the small plane and we want to attach the main camera to the small plane so if I drag that onto there Nice, nice. Okay, that was a nice easy way of doing it. So, we've now got our camera. Let's make this thing move. Um, there is a, have I done that the right way? Yes, I think I have. So, if I go back to our scenes, save this, prototype one, check out scripts. Oh, we don't need to do that there, but if we open up the one script here on the left, find the new script that we've got with this now, which I think is called X. So let's just grab that one. Can I open two? Nice. Okay, so I've got two lots of script going on. Let's see what we've got cross-reference the two. Now, we are setting the offset here, and we know what sort of settings that we want. So do we then look to... I mean, it's probably better to do it that way, to be fair. I think if we make it move, we can see whether we need to do anything with that or not for a minute. So the next thing to have a look at, let's just close this down, let's save them. That's fine. Uh, let's go back into the scripts, play a controller. And then again, down the bottom, scripts, play a controller. So I've got both the X, uh, the old and the new. So we'll put the old on the, on the left and the new on the right. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. So, let's have a look to see what we've got. There's the new one, and there's the old one. Um, so we want to keep a constant speed. So, first thing, uh, let's actually look at our challenges. Yeah, it's going backwards. Well, we know that, so let's have a look. Why is it going backwards? Vertical input, uh, vector speed. Move the plane forward at a constant rate. So that's going back, so all we need to do is just change that to forward, save, get rid, and then see if it goes forwards. There's no errors, play. She's not moving, because we haven't actually said how fast we want this thing to go. Cool, right, so let's go back into our script. So, public float speed, let's give it a, again, a 5.0F, because that's nice one. Rotation speed. I guess we could just stick with the same one for a minute and then we'll tune it. 35.0F and then we've got the vertical input and horizontal. We don't need horizontal input. We just need vertical input. Uh, this time being uh, up. so we're rotating the nose up and down first. Uh, so let's have a look. We've got the input. Yep. So we've got that, and we've got that. We just need to now attach that to the plane. So here, we want to tilt the plane up and down. So if I do uh, that on that one, let's make sure we're doing it by delta time. Yep. And our t rotation speed, we want to add that in as well. So. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, we got it. I can see it. Cool. And then do we have our uh, vertical input in here as 
well because we're declaring it there. That's a negative, so let's put them in. Perfect. And then afterwards, yep, it's all good. Save that. Okay, so just added in a couple of variables, uh, declared a couple of variables. These become private once we're finished. Uh, but for now, that's good. Uh, we've just changed what was backwards to forwards. Uh, we changed the vector 3 to up and down, so not left and right, because we don't want left and right at the moment. Um, the time dot delta time, rather than updating it, so we didn't fix the update. Now, is that correct? What's the difference? What's a fixed update versus an update? Don't see it being called anywhere else, so let's just do a quick look at fixed update versus update. So what's the difference? The update function runs exactly once for per frame, whereas the fixed update function runs at a fixed interval independent of your game's frame rate, making it possible to run once, zero, or multiple times. I don't think I like that, so let's get rid of that. Okay, cool. So, we've done that bit. Uh, they're all public for a minute because we're still figuring it out. Let's close it down, small plane. Now, if I click on the small plane, we need to add a component, scripts, and we want to have now our player controller. So there she is. And we can see some of the public stuff going on, rotation speed, yep. I think that needs to start. It. Zero. Let's just see what happens in a minute. Cool. Well, it's going forwards. It's a good start. Way too fast. Let's just change that down to one. Does that change it in here? It does not. One. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. That was the wrong one. Okay, cool. Let's just minimize that for a second. Okay, so we're going to open up our player controller X, change the speed down to one and save it and make sure that this thing moves forwards. Maybe even go up and down. Oh God. Oh, hello. I'm going left and right. I thought I changed. Interesting. W and ASD. W is calling on the right ones, but it's not rotating in the right way. So let's have a look at this again. So what we want to do, the input is vertical. Seems right. It's W and S. Yeah, so that's working up and down. That one's working. Uh, vector 3 forward time speed. Yes. Transform dot translate vector three forward. So that's that's okay. Now, do we need this delta time here? I don't think so. Let's get rid of that. Close that down. Whoa. Yes, we do. Cool. Okay. Sorry about the flashing images there. Let's put that back in. Time dot delta time uh, delta time stop. Let's double check that scripts player controller time dot delta time. Yep, double jubbly. Uh, oh, sorry. Have I dragged the wrong one? No, no I didn't. Okay. So the 
buy it. Okay, so the vertical input's working. Rotation speed isn't working. And the speed is kind of working. Right, so we need to go up and down. Let's see what we've done so far. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Right, so the plane's going backwards, we've done that. The plane's going too fast, we've done that. And the plane's tilting automatically. So let's go back in here, because we changed one of these. Oh, that worked. But why? Why is that the case? Hmm. Right, so we're going up and down. So we're getting somewhere. Now, so we've done that. The camera is at the front. Reposition it so it's at the side of the plane. We've done that. The camera is not following the plane. Oh, we've done that as well. Bonus, the plane's propeller doesn't spin. No. Um, it's kind of there, but it's not kind of there. Now I did attach the camera, so if we go back into our scene, so prototype one, yep, see? We'll check our cam player. We've got the follow script on that, and it's attached to the player. Okay, so if I then look at objects, and I go to the player, object player, let's take a look. We've just got the script attached there. So if we go back into our challenge scene, have a look at the Where is the camera? I don't actually see the camera in this one. Hold on. Okay. So let's rotate this minus 90 so it's facing the right way. Let's bring it back a little bit. Okay, and pop our scripts. Which is in here. Also the player camera. Uh, yeah, so. Next, we need to look at the follow player script. So let's try and look at this camera because I don't think it's working in the way that we're expecting it to work. Actually, how did they do that thing where there was a script? Now, I don't think I've got... If I click that instructions, how do I drag it? Oh, there we go. Play. Yeah, it's just sort of sat a little bit further forward. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Yeah, I think we're on the right track anyway. So let's just tidy this up. X to 30. Uh, let's drop this up to 7. Put this on. Yeah, 50. Just a little bit ahead. Uh, we haven't actually created any of the... Um, the obstacles either. We want to collide. So... Is it, is it, I don't know, I, I want to create my own. Source, script, instructions, course library, obstacles. No. Well, it's fine. Okay, let's just create our own. Excuse me. 
well we're nearly there anyway so from what I gather we have our player camera we need to declare this now so if I do follow player X Object player, offset new vector, and we need to just, just grab all of this. And it's exactly the same. But we'll just change that to the date update as well, so it doesn't go all weird again. Oops, that's not the right one. I think the late update fixes a, a stutter that can occur. vectors in here, right, so x is 30, then we've got 7, and then we've got 15 for, um, for the z-axis. Uh, okay, cool. So, next, let's just make sure that this thing is actually on our plate. Now, the last time I just did this, let's delete this one, uh, let's move this one out of here. Small plane. Nope. Uh, da, 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 da. It's, not, it's not quite the same. Um, so if I press play, oh, compile errors. Oh, uh oh. So where is that found? Follow player. Invalid token of a semicolon somewhere for some reason. There's two of them. Right. So let's drop that speed down again. Also, yeah, we don't want... So we don't want the camera to be locked to the to the player because when we're rotating the player, it's actually rotating the camera as well. Drop us down to 0.25 a minute. So let's have a look. And it's a bit more unintuitive. Uh-oh. The dot. I left the dot in. so fast or small plane oh because even though we got dot zero no actually 2.25 is this the right one yeah zero point i think because that's so close to zero it doesn't like it it can't route it up it's rounding it down so let's just do 0 0.25 and try again better speed I guess you know, I might get rid of the skybox because we're just going to be going into it all the time or make it make it huge uh, R let's make it huge the middle one oh that's the actual skybox actual Z this one is the one that's after it's huge probably a little bit too big Whatever. Oh, let's make the skybox a little bit bigger again, so we don't. Delete. Cool. Yeah, let's detach the camera again. Now we want to set the camera. Uh, where is my play script? Huh. I attach the script to the follow player, which we've already done. So if 
I go back into the other one, it seems, save this, prototype, this is called cam player. I guess it just must know that. Okay, yeah, so we follow player. No, it's got play. How does it know what that is? Yep, it's broken. So if I change it back to plane, is it going to follow the plane? Plane and plane. Plane and plane. Plane and plane. Didn't think so. This one's working. Let's fix this camera. Um, just up and down. Follow the plane. Does anyone have a solve? So follow the player. It's definitely. This is just a mesh. Again, it's just not sure. So Right, we're gonna keep on trying to bug fix this thing now. So set it back to plane, set that back to game object plane. Now I guess if I go into our uh, library there isn't a single thing that's called plane so I guess if we go back into this let's just call this plane Okay, so I think it's it looks right. What are we missing? What are we missing? We're missing something from a very old tutorial that I just cannot remember. So these two now look the same. Transform dot position plane dot transform position plus offset. Okay, cool. Oh, I know it's plane, plane, player, player. I'm sure it's the. Again, I'm sure this is player. I'm just not sure of it. So, player, player. So, save. Camera, so 
Is that what it said before? Surely not. Ah, yes. The play is the, the player. Well, hey. Uh, hey, and also it kind of behaves like it does in the video. Okay, so the steps were we had our script for the player. We we declared it on the front end. Um, and then if, when we go into it, we can now call this, uh, is that the right one? It's not the right one. Now that's where it gets plain from. So if I go back in here, I can set this to plain. Set this to plain, save, close. Now when I click on play, uh, is it play? Play account. Yes, it's changed again. So how can I declare that inside here anyway? Oh well, it seems I'm in prototype one, it seems. Click on player object. No, the script. Where's the script? We do declare it there then. Cool. Right, let's chuck some obstacles in. Uh, actually, there's, there's another thing is let's move this thing way back. Uh, grab that. Actually, no, the first thing we'll do is grab the uh, player controller. Just make sure that everything is still working. So far, so good. Right, so. Once we're in the player controller, I want the rotation speed to be a bit more, uh, to be higher. So let's play this again. Let's double it. Oh my lord. Uh oh, we're broken it. Play the camera. Drag the plane down into that and then save. stuck this time so let's play it's gonna be quite hard if we were doing this on thing three so play a controller again right I guess oh and the right is because it's on the X rotate on the right okay so let's play this again a little bit slow let's try and do a full 360 uh, a loop do the loop Save, play. Ah, that's better. Yeah, that's a nice little loop. Nice little loop to loop thing. Try and do a bit faster again. So why is that? So if I were then to go into play a control X and I go in here and I got that one to one in 50, why is it that when I then go into play this hasn't updated. Uh, I don't mind that. How do I refresh this? 
Ah, reset. Hello. Okay, now play. But, however, let's change these up a bit. So, next, I did like it when I was on 0.25. Let's just drop this, uh, whatever the... That's, uh, I think it's going to be quite intense, but let's just have a look. Play. Oh, hang on, I forgot. If I can play... No, not play. Let's, let's go look at... There she is. Let's just reset it. Yep, I've just updated that now. 0.25 Beautiful It gives us enough Enough to play around with now Let's chuck some obstacles in, shall we? So we want them to be collisions So if we go over here I think it's as simple as We'll just Right click uh, Create a new 3D object Z-axis on, just set everything on zero for a minute. Scale, 15, 15, and a one. So forward by one unit. Cool. Oh, 100 is, these are in divisions of 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So that means 10 is here. If I do 10, yep, bang on. Okay, so now we're looking at how we can then check the scale of things. Now, drop it down in that case by minus 50 oh is it though minus 10 and then that should put the top of the polygon directly on the floor it's close enough I guess it doesn't matter so x has dropped this up to uh, bring this up to 25 and then on 25 Some uh, uh, we have some collisions. Now, what happens if I drive this straight into it? Straight through. Kind of expected. So, I want to now make this. Box Collider. We've already got one. So we've already got one Box Collider. So we don't need that. So we need to make sure Edit Collider. Now has this got a Box Collider? Yes it has. It's a convex shape. Cool. Play. What will happen? Oh yeah, we've done this bit now. Mark complete. Let's make a camera from the plane. Done. Bonus. in now. So 
one. Is that five? So put four and five together. this out, see how it feels, whoop, 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 oh, damn it, um, okay, it actually does look a little bit like the tutorial now, somehow we made it, we winged it, right, so, Seconds, it can go forward, vector three looks like the X5. Pick up the third, turn it and that's where you rotate. Cool. Rotation. Done this then. Yeah, we've done all this. This is fine. Propeller, create a new spin propel. Make it rotate every frame around the Z axis. Now, game object, propeller, yep, move it, vector 3 offset, don't worry about that, plane, dot, transform, it will kick off that, propeller, transform, dot, rotate, It rotate every frame around the Z axis. DT rotate around. Transform. Oh, it's rotate. Transform does this too. Okay, let's have a look. So transform dot rotate. Take back to three Euler space relative to space dot set. The rotation to apply in Euler angles. What on earth is a Euler? I've never seen that word in my life. Relative to uh, Euler locally to the game object or to the scene. So can we just take all of that then? Public void is 
probably an easier way of doing that. Take that, looks good. What's boy? So public float x, y, and z. Private is the game object. around the given axis by the number of degrees defined by the given angle. It has an axis angle I only want to rotate around the z-axis. Game objects look for self, yes, to the unit angles. So, <coughs> public. See, that says public body. Oh, so you take the first and then update it, and it's just going to go round and round and round and round. And round. I'm using cos sine. So zero. So we're rotating it. One, zero, one. And there's our variable. The sine is this part here. There's the cos. to the previous variable. So negative cos here plus i sine here. So we're declaring our cos and our sine. Uh, there's our variable. So that one, two, three, there she is. One, two, three. Cool. I guess that is a Euler sign. Z angle from Z zero zero one because you want to do it one parallel straight per frame. So get rid of that bit, get rid of that bit. Space equals space itself. to be, I guess, one. Okay, get rid of that void. But that doesn't call there. <coughs> Why would you put void in these things? Okay, cool. So, let's see how we're getting on. Let's see what happens. Let's try and get this thing onto our new lots of, lots of errors. Likely.
because I, I copied the old one, so I want to get rid of this. Oh. Okay, well, let's open them back up. <coughs> oh, we've got two of those in this. Let's get rid of that. Cool. I guess public void, void. is it? Alright, let's start again. I only want this bit here. So we'll grab that. Don't save. Delete this. Make sure our arrows go away. Don't even know where this thing is anymore. Where is Propellerex script 1? Right, let's just save this now. Yes, so we're back to playing. Things are working again. I don't know if I like this again. Cool, 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 cool. Cool, now let's create our C sharp scripts. Propeller. Open them up. No errors yet. Yeah, that all looks good. Drop them in. Get rid of this one. We don't need that one. Hit the save. space cannot to access fields or methods. Okay, simple. You just need an easy answer. Any 
seems to be inside a clan. So, this needs to be inside the clan. Puppet, clan, propeller. That's void. No, that's void. Public class. Propeller. A namespace. Let's drop these two next to each other then, just for a quick check. I'm doing something fundamentally silly. Oh! Aha! Get rid of there and then drop it down here. Yes. 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 Is it going to work? She gone. Excellent. I'll just go over that again in a minute. Oh, it's moving. Oh, we did it. Challenge complete. There we are. We are now experts. I'm doing a victory uh, loop to loop. Okay, so let's have a look at our script again. So, game object propeller is this thing here. We've linked it up to the propeller up here, so we know the game object is that. And then space.self, uh, I guess we could even increase this to two. Transform the dot rotate. Now, what I did wrong, it was telling me that uh, because I put that there, and not there, you see a one, two, one, two, one, two. I thought that was right, but it's not. All of this is one class. All of that. Or namespace. Or whatever. Success, everyone. We've done it. Yep, we've done the bonus bit. Want even more challenge? Uh, I don't know. Above beyond what you learned in this unit, four bonus features presented to you marked easy. What are they? Obstacle pyramids, oncoming vehicles, camera switcher, and local. Huh. Player. Um. Yeah, we'll do this, but not today. We've had enough fun for today, but, um. Excellent, 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 excellent. Uh, I'm happy with that. Let's now just have another quick little run through of what we've done. We imported our new challenge files, created a new scene, dropped the mountains. And, well, I got rid of the sky because I got bored of it. Um, it's not quite right. Um, dropped the plane in, um, we fixed the backwards, we fixed the speed, uh, we fixed the camera. Uh, to it um, and added some collision. No, yeah, admittedly, there's no. I mean, they have already box colliders, but it doesn't work, so. Um, we'll, uh, we'll come back to that one day. Not worried for now. So, uh, yeah, so this, what we went over with. 
fix the follow player script and the uh, well actually we started with the other one didn't we? Player control, I just messed around with some of the speeds and the rotation speed to make sure they're correct. Or feel a bit more natural. Um, made sure this thing, this is already correct, so we know we're using W and S for what we want. This was set to backwards, I think. Um, time speed. Why is that not time dot delta time? What happens then? Is that why that's at 0.25? Let's just check this a sec. Hey, it doesn't move. Oh wait, no, it is moving. that mean that it's increasing the speed all the time? Yes. Ah, yes. So, I'll go back to the plane. Reset this again. I'm sure there's a better way of doing that. But, right, let's play this now. It should be a more reasonable. Right. Okay, cool. Now this shouldn't increase in speed anymore. It should just stay at a constant speed. So that 15 on the right-hand side is constant. Uh, it feels a lot better actually. Okay. Excellent. Now, does that mean that we can collide with things now actually? Because we're not constantly going at, we are at constant speed. No, I didn't think so. That's fine. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Yep, so fixed all of this stuff here. Hopefully that makes a bit more sense now. Uh, follow player. Yeah, we just set the offsets, which we already knew. Set the plane. Uh, this one was a bit easier to figure out. And then the propeller. So we just grabbed the bits that we needed, but we set the public uh, propeller there. We rotated on the, uh, the Z axis by two, and it's relative to itself, which is what we set as the propeller. Uh, cool. No, it's not right yet. Yeah, because that's all one public class, so this is all working. So the space dot self knows that it's going to be. Okay, so next up, we've done all what we need to do today. Um, as you know, you can follow the tutorial yourself. If you get stuck on any bits, you can take some pointers from what I've done. Um, I'm just going to save all of this now. We'll do the bonus challenges at some point soon. Um, the next thing I want to do is play the next button. So I'm going to pause this. Uh, what episode is this? Six, maybe? Again. It is bring it back to good chat. No, nobody's talking to us. I don't think anyone actually uh, watches it. But 
that's fine. Um, cool, so I'm going to queue up our, oh yeah, so we're on, uh, yeah, episode 6. Uh, so I'm going to queue up the next uh, fail episode, which is episode 6. Okay, and enjoy. Previously, I was talking to your mother, and I'm taking you shooting this weekend. No, the anime convention is on Saturday. Oh, like, fuck, are you coming fucking undo with me rather than going to that fucking shit? Beaton only said I can't go to the anime convention on Saturday. What the fuck? But the cosplay? Instead, that sounds like a bit of a cunt, to be honest. I fucking shoot you on a hunting trip through me. This is Kate, the new pupil I was telling you about. Have you ever seen AD Police? Yeah, I love all of it. I love anime. In love, are you? Well, I, um, I could sense a spark. You've been fucking cleaning while working here, haven't you? Yeah, got pulled up on it this morning. You fucking done! You, you can grab your shit from the cabin and fuck off! Hey Tim, thanks for giving me that spare ticket for the anime convention tomorrow. I'll meet you at the train station tomorrow at half seven. I'm gonna kill my stepdad tomorrow. This is all his fault! I just don't want to go to this. It'll be alright now, babe. I just, I just want to go to the anime convention. I'm so distraught. Fuck me, I'm excited for this. You're not fucking whinging with it now, are you? No. Look, I can't be dealing with him fucking crying big tears of butter on the big day, Tone. Don't listen to him, Tony. Your tears aren't butter. Yeah, they fucking are. Fuck me, Jock. What the fuck do you look like? Like a stone-cold hard bastard. Right then, boys, we're gonna fucking move on or what? Aye, aye, we will now. Just, we're just waiting a second. What are we waiting for? You said you were driving. Come on, you cunts. Shift your fucking asses. Like burning through fuel, but yeah. Fuck me, beat man. You didn't tell me that fucking Judas was coming. Uh, come on. Uh, this thing only does two bullets to the gallon. If you don't get in, I won't be able to start it again. Uh, beat, what the fuck are you playing at? Look, I didn't want to say I invited him last night. It'll be good now. Hunting trip like this will give you the chance to smooth things over. But beat, he's fucking off his head, man. He's going to ruin the entire trip now. Don't be daft, man. It'll be a good laugh. Play your cards right and you'll be back in the building site on Monday now. Promise you. Right in, boys. Let's get fucking going. Oh, Blev. Chuck this on, bud. Bought it in Tesco. What is it, Beat? It's fucking nickel, bud, Blev. Fucking best band ever, man. No! I fucking hate that Chas Kroger cunt uh, with his long hair and his big crooked gay nose. Uh, we're having my music on. Creed, this is fucking music, but... I bought that Nickelback CD especially for this fucking trip. See, I fucking told you inviting him was a bad idea, B. Fuck off, Al. Go on, Chuck us a fucking dinny end. What the fuck? Light lager, 2%. Al, what in the love of fuck is this by you, man? Uh, to be honest, it's all I could afford, Beat. Times are hard at the minute. I'm unemployed now, and I. Oh, this is a fucking joke, Al. Blev! 
Can we pull over the next shop we see to get some cans? No! I told you! When this gets going, I can't stop it! Oh, fuck me. I don't know how to cope with this. What do you think about it all, Jock? I'm staying dry for this. <sighs> fuck me, Jock. What's that? It's my hunting syrup. It's just a hodgepodge of powders. Bit of coke, bit of smack, some speed. I need to keep my head clear, don't I? Keep my senses sharp. Fucking hell, Jock. It's a bit much, isn't it? Well, I haven't been hunting for four years, have I? Not since... Since what, then? What are you talking about? I don't want to talk about it, Al. Is it really as good as we thought it was going to be? Nah, to be honest, it's, it's pretty boring. Really? No! It's fucking amazing, Tone. I can't even fucking lie about it. Oh. It was announced this morning that Brian Drummond and Sean Schemmel are going to be interviewed on stage by Doc Harris about the English dubs of Dragon Ball Z. Fucking Akira Toriyama is just walking around here fucking signing shit. I had a selfie earlier with Clamp, and they're actually doing a Q&A screening of the new Digimon movie. Oh, all right. Well, but, you know, it's not all that good. The, uh, the lines are pretty long. How's it going with the hunting trip? It's shit. Have you finally seen sense and changed your mind about killing your stepdad now? Well, he's practically ruined my life by not letting me go to the convention, so he's definitely going to die today. Ah, Tony, aside from what I said, it's not that good yet. Hey, Tim. Oh, alright, kid. Yeah, I'm just talking to Tony a sec. I'm having an emergency. My bikini is broke and my boots keep falling out. I need you to help me just to put them back in. And after that, can you please cover me in this body glitter? Tom, I gotta fucking run, but I'll see you later. No, Tim, no, don't go. Oh, Chunk, stop talking to your gay boyfriend on that phone now. Come and help us, you fat, selfish cunt. Right, well, what do I need to do? Don't fucking mouth me now, Tom. Go and get some firewood. Have a fucking scavenge. That's a bit fucking harsh, isn't it, Pete? Oh, you don't know what it's like living with him. It's fucking hard. I know what it's like. How? My third wife. She had a son. He was one of those Star Wars Trekkies. Just used to walk around the house with a pair of plastic Spock ears. And all he'd talk about was spaceships and beaming up. He was about 20 odd. It was fucking shit, to be honest. But I got it sorted. How'd you, uh, how'd you get that sorted, then? Fucking divorced her. He ain't that bad though, Tony. He's a... What was that? I thought I could sense something. Come on. This is just the beginning. We need to get moving. We're losing light by her. Yeah, yeah, give us five and we'll... Not five, beat. Fucking no. Dude, he's a fucking mad head, I... How are you finding this so far then? Fine. Beats the fucking cartoon convention, don't it? Anime convention. And no. What the fuck do you mean no? You're in the fucking great outdoors by you. Wonder of nature. But it's where you find yourself. Where you learn who you are. I know who I am. Well, if this is who you are, then you need to fucking change tone. Hold up there now, boys. What's going on? Shh, he smelt something. What the fuck is happening, Jock? A bed. In the bushes.
It's all right. It's just a TV present in the bushes with a young boy. Oh my God, it's fucking Phil White. All right, boys. You caught me. I must be upwind. I'm losing my touch. Oh my God, Phil. Phil, I fucking love you, I. I've got all your DVDs. It's always nice to meet a fan. And what's your name, young man? Anthony. Nice to meet you, Anthony. My name's Phil. Phil White. And this is Lee. Spelt the girl's way. L-E-I-G-H. My cohort for the day. Who's he then, your boy? Does he look like my son? Lee, why don't you tell him why you're here? When I was a baby, a grey squirrel attacked me and ate both my eyes. Phil is showing me the meaning of retro, retro. retribution. Yeah. And you, Anthony, I see, you're carrying the BSA 210 SE Walnut, point one seven seven there. Yeah, well, it's his, it's his first time. Hold on, mate. I'm talking to the boy. I don't really know what it is. That's all right. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it. By the way, that's a cracking beanie you have there. Pokemon fan, are we? Yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah. Back in 02, I was old up in hospital after eating sports squirrel, and all I had to keep me going was Pokemon Red. Cracking stuff. Why why ain't he talking to me? Why ain't he paying me any attention? Boys! Which one of you cunts is sorting my arse out? Go on, Al. This is your chance now, bud. Ah, for fuck's sake. Fine, Brody, because I want my job back so badly. Don't go getting any ideas when I'm vulnerable now. But anyway, we'd best get off, Lee, if you want to get your first kill. We'll see you later, chaps. Aye. We're camping just up there. Uh, pop over for a can later, Phil. Fuck it, it'd be an honour. Is Tony going to be there? Yeah. Then it's a deal. See you later, Towns. ta Phil. Phil. Huh, what a nice guy. Fuck up. Oh, go on. Dig in. Oh, just get it done, boy. Oh. Come on, you're almost done. Just fucking wipe me, man. Can't feel a thing anyway. Oh, fuck me, man. Go on, man. It's all dead down there anyway. The only thing that fucking moves is a sphincter. And that's involuntary. I just don't understand. There's just so much shit in here. Fuck, this just can't get any more disgusting. <laughs> get over how cool that guy was what was his name again paul white phil white oh yeah 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 phil i can't believe you knew so much about anime yeah i can't believe like how into bo 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 he is and one punch man and he he said he had every issue of bleach <sighs> i can't believe he completed pokemon red with a kakuna shut up oh yeah sorry sorry oh yeah i was thinking as well um where did, uh, where did Jockey go? Fuck knows. Come on, Ton. Let's get going. But but I thought we were going to wait for Alden and Blevin. I don't care. Come on, let's go see if we can find Phil in that fucking weird blanket. Maybe if Phil sees me killing the grey squirrel, he'll, uh, he'll talk to me. Oh, I think I'm finally done here, bud. Have you? Aye, it's all done now, but But yeah, don't worry about it, Blev. It's what friends are for. I'm not your fucking friend. Uh, I don't care how thoroughly and intimately you just wipe my fucking ass. You ain't never getting your job back on my site. You fuck me, boy. So I'm fucking hell. Don't get me back in my fucking chair. I want to go and shoot some men. hunting trip I've ever been on this is I. I I didn't mean to get on so well with that Phil guy that's the one thing I've always dreamed of meeting my hero and you had to fucking fatly just take over the entire conversation with that stupid fucking Pokemon hat on on your fat fucking head please, please stop getting mad at me why 
All you've done on this trip is be a fat twat. I wish I let you go to that stupid fucking cartoon club now. You've ruined this for me. Right, lad. Wait there a second, bud. I need a piss. Where the fuck have they gone? I don't know, bud. Did you haven't taken so long cleaning my ass, they'd still be here. <sighs> Give me a sec. Let me have a slash and we'll get back on it now. Oh, what's this for you? Easy does it. Me, bud. Oh my god. His card's down. This is it. This is the moment I've been waiting for. Fucking have a fucking look at that one. It's fucking beauty that is. Give me a minute, give me a minute. I need to absorb this. This is it. This is finally your chance, Anthony. You've got to take this now. Tony, I want you to listen to me now, bud. I, I want to apologise for the way I've been acting all day. Well, not even all day. All week. Oh, fuck it. Since you moved in with your mother, oh, I get... Thing is, right, I just get wound up so easily. I work hard all day, and then I come home all ratty and acting like a right cunt at times, I. I'm sorry for always calling you fat and uh, not understanding your anxiety and fucking making fun of it. It's just, it's different now to when I was younger. You never heard of all this depression and stuff then. Oh, it's, it's typical me in his tone, thinking I know best when really all I should have done is sit down with you and ask what's wrong. I'd be anxious if I was in your shoes, but. If, I, if I'm being honest, like, if I, if I had to come home to a big, massive, fucking drunk stepfather, always getting me down all the time. Ah, oh, fucking... I think that what we should do is, when we get home, put all this past behind us and turn over a new leaf. And while we're at it, we could think of a way to make up for you missing that cartoon convention thing you wanted to go to. Or my treat, by the way. What do you think about that, Torn? Is he tricking me? Does he know that I have a gun pointed at him? That was actually really kind. I, I don't think I should do this. Oh, you haven't gone deaf there now, have you? Oh. What the fuck are you playing at, boy? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. You're lucky that's only a fucking air gun. This is it. I'm actually going to beat the fucking shit into you this time now, boy. Fuck me. What happened, doll? I'll tell you what happened. This cunt, did he kill me? 
You're lucky I'm fucking paralyzed already, you dull cunt. Fuck, Blab, I'm sorry. It was an accident, honest. Fuck off. I know you're game. You're a slimy prick, I Trying to bump me off to get back on that site. I might run about so when I get back. A big, massive African bastard to snap you in half if you even look at my sight. Oh, what are you doing, you dull cunt? You haven't lifted me in. Fuck me, this has been a shit trip. I haven't even fucking killed a squirrel. I'm drinking this fucking 2% fucking bitch pop. And to top it all off, that fat cunt did this to me. So how long are you going to leave him like that for then? Long enough for him to think about what he's done. Where did you get off to him? It doesn't matter where I've been. What's he tied up for then? Oh, the fucking doughy cunt only went and tried to shoot me, didn't he? I can't wait until we get home. I'm going to burn all his fucking gay cartoon shit in the back garden. You hear that, Ton? All of it. Beat, that's a bit fucking tight, isn't it? Al, he wanted to fucking kill me out there. After I've had about 30 or 40 of these, I'm going to start beating him up with his stick. Yeah, but Beat... Why did he shoot you? Because he's a fucking ungrateful, fucking flabby, fat cunt. So you don't think it has anything to do with you always calling him a fat cunt and all that? No. Come on now, Beat. Sounds to us like you're fucking always on his case. He's probably had a fucking tip full of it, like. Yeah, but... Listen, bud, why don't you just fucking cut him down from there now? Fucking shake hands with him and give him a tinny. There's still time left to patch things up. Fuck guy. and help having anxiety you have anxiety because you stay up all night sleep all day and because you're fucking fat uh, uh, fucking have a fucking lord of that boy Beaton this is my son Tony he's really been looking forward to meeting you Beaton Beaton I, I, I've really been looking forward to meeting you my my mum said so much cool things about you fucking hell he's a round little fucking bastard isn't he fucking look at him it's like a little beach ball. Come on, fatso. Get in. And if you can't make it on your own, get your two fucking boys there to fucking roll you in. There were fucking five of these in you, and now there are only fucking three. What the fuck are you playing at, boy? Can I can I just have dinner now? You had your fucking dinner. Go on. Fuck off. <laughs> Please stop getting mad at me. Why? All you've done on this trip is be a fat twat. I wish I let you go to that stupid fucking cartoon club now. You've ruined, You've ruined this for me. For me. <sighs> You're both right. <sighs> Torn, come on, bud. Come on, boy. Are you still going to beat me up with that stick? No. I'm sorry for being such a cunt. Come on. <sighs> I'm, I'm sorry I'm shooting you, beaten. Please don't burn all my anime memorabilia. I won't. Come on. Please don't burn. Come and have a tinny with me and the boys. Alright, Torn. Don't go trying to fucking shoot them again, how good? <laughs> I won't. Here you are, Torn. It tastes like stale gone off piss, but it's all we have. Hello, hello, hello. Phil! Mind if we join, boys? That's alright. me bud you brought the five percent lagers is it yeah tuck in fellas where's uh where's blair then fucking numb nuts for they only tried to fucking kill him didn't he everyone's been trying to kill someone today fuck up will you beat i didn't try to kill him it was an accident go on tell him what happened listen to this it's fucking quality eye right well 
Now, before I get into this, it was a complete and utter accident, right? I was having a slash and bled so this squirrel. Brilliant. So that's the end of season one. S season? Series? Series one. Um, I can't wait for series two, actually. Um, so we finished with our uh, course that we were doing, uh, the first one, um, which means that now we are able to move on to uh, the next bit. It's going to be, well, we'll do the challenge, the bonus challenges just for a laugh, um, just so we can get a bit more um, experience when we're doing it. Um, so uh, thank you all for, for watching if you made it this far. The, um, I hope you've been enjoying the episodes as well of uh, of The Veil. Uh, I'm looking forward to making this game. Um, and, and I actually learned a little bit. We got it to work and make it look like it was meant to. We'll just have another quick look at it and see we, what we've achieved. Um, I, I'm just really glad. So yeah ne next step is um we'll just do the bonus and then we'll start moving on to the next tutorials but we ultimately we're going to look at uh, making the actual um i wonder if my controller works yeah i can use the play the playstation controller as well um oh and i've reduced the speed let's go the manner but yeah no, we've got the camera following it goes up and down i think it uses uh, a bit of the old quaternion which means that when you're doing that we can go all the way around and it's a nice little loop to loop and it's doing a constant speed and uh, the propeller is moving as well um so i'll leave it at there thank you very much everyone for your time um i have hope you have a great week and i will see you on the next episode goodbye <laughs>